Torment and tears tonight as friends and family gather to remember an 11-year-old boy who took his own life. Good evening, I'm John Floyd. And I'm Monica Pearson. The child's family says the boy was bullied at school. And now their attorney is looking into whether the school failed to enforce its own no-bullying policy. Channel 2's John Bachman is live tonight at the family's apartment with the new developments since 6. John. Monica, I want to show you the memorial outside the family's front door. You can see Jaheem's picture there beneath it, messages from his friends. And the message from adults here tonight is that bullying has serious consequences and needs to be taken seriously. Whatever kids have any problem in school, don't be afraid to talk to your mother, okay? Just don't be afraid because this is what drove my son to do this, man. And my son was a good little boy. Jaheem Herrera's mom spoke Tuesday night at a prayer gathering for her 11-year-old son who took his own life last week. Kids can be so cruel and I, you know, sometimes I don't think they even realize how cruel, you know, they could be. Alice Brown's 11-year-old son was Jaheem Herrera's science partner at Denair Elementary. He was also bullied by the same kids. Name calling, you know, and, you know, the pushing, the shoving. Jaheem's mother described an attack on her son in December after he reported his bullies. Told me, mommy, they came, I went to the bathroom. And they came in, and they hold me, and they made me pass out. If Alice Brown says Jaheem spoke to her son just hours before he took his own life. My son to Jaheem and asked him if anybody would miss him if he wasn't here. Brown says she saw the bullying, reported it, and got little reaction from school administrators. They were saying that they hadn't heard of that before. There's no bullying in the school. DeKalb County Schools won't comment on this specific case, but a spokeswoman did outline its policy to stop bullying, called No Place for Hate. And unfortunately, it's not a vaccine. I wish it was. I'd invest in it. And Alice Brown, the mother there, says even after Jaheem's death, the bullying continues. She says just yesterday her son was ridiculed for supporting Jaheem. Reporting live in DeKalb County, John Bachman, Channel 2 Action News, Nightbeat. Community leaders and family members gathered in northwest Atlanta tonight to...